Good morning! I hope everyone's having a great day. I just woke up very late and fun fact, I actually sleep on a mattress on the floor. Let me show you. I have to clean up this mess in a bit, but first, coffee. Today I'm off, <laughs> so I thought it would be the perfect day to do a little bit of a reset day. I got inspired by a lot of people doing a mid-year reset and I know it's not actually mid-year anymore but there's no harm in doing this a month late so I wanted to check in with myself and set some goals for the next few months. I haven't really done a lot of one-on-one -on -one content on this channel and I don't really share a lot about my personal life but I actually do different things than sitting in front of my computer coding all day and yeah I really wanted to give this format a try and see if you guys like it. Full transparency, this is not my place. I wouldn't be able to afford a place like this, I think. It is actually a friend's home who doesn't live here at the moment and I get to stay here for free for a bit. Okay, time to leave the house. I decided I wanted to write down my goals from a coffee shop. I work from home all the time and since I'm off today, I needed a change of scenery. Plus, there's something about being in a different space that makes me feel more creative. I needed a sip of green juice first and then focused on resetting my goals. I started by drawing a mind map with different categories I wanted to set goals for. Mine were personal development, health, mindset, education, social and content creation. I saw this approach in a video a couple days ago and really liked it. Once I had all my categories spread out, I started brainstorming and filling in my new goals for each of them. The purpose of this exercise is to get all your ideas out, no matter if it ends up being messy. It helps to gain clarity on which areas in your life you want to improve and how. For lunch, I decided to have this Thai-style burrito in the same place and then went for a little walk through the harbor. Because it was super duper hot back home but I needed to edit a video for YouTube, I got out my DIY emergency kit to cool down, <laughs> which consists of an ice pack and a bucket of water to dip my feet in. Honestly, this works so well, I should have done this years ago. One of my goals is to get back into the habit of creating videos more consistently. Not gonna lie, it is hard being consistent on YouTube while working a full-time job. Not necessarily because I don't have time to create videos after work, but because I'm sitting in front of a screen for 8 hours to work, and then when I'm done, there is no way I can continue that for another 3 hours to edit videos. I physically can't, like, my body cannot. I need to go outside and get moving and do anything other than sitting in front of a screen. That's why I put my YouTube channel on hold for a bit, but I really missed it, so now I'm getting back into the habit of working on it more often. However, I'll make sure that during the week all I do is film and then I do most of my editing on the weekends. After a successful editing session, I decided to drive to my current happy place to practice my skating. Today the skate park was empty, which almost never happens, so I was excited to have all the rams to myself. Apart from swimming, I never did any sport regularly and so a couple of weeks ago I decided that it was time to pick up something I can do to balance out the fact that I'm sitting in front of a laptop all day. I have always enjoyed surfing, although I'm still pretty bad at it, but unfortunately there are no waves in Mallorca where I'm staying right now, so that wasn't an option. That's why when I heard about surf skating, I was immediately intrigued. Essentially, it is a skateboard that mimics the motion and feel of surfing. It definitely feels a lot different than a regular skateboard and it took me a few tries to get used to it, but so far it has been a lot of fun and I absolutely love it. Back at the car, I realized that I forgot to bring my water bottle, so I decided to make a quick stop at the nearest supermarket for hydration purposes, and then I drove to my absolute favorite sunset spot. Sometimes I still can't believe I get to live on this beautiful island, and I'm not taking advantage of it as much as I should, so another one of my goals is to watch the sunset more often. If you're still watching, leave a little palm tree emoji in the comments. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and see you soon! Bye!